only promote the truth. Y'all ready to get it? Are y'all ready to get it? Hey, we burning it up. We're having a great time. The last session of our telethon, we're going to be buckled down. We're going to get into it, guys. It's going to be awesome because we are repairing the breach for real. Can't you see it? It's right here in front of your eyes. Mm -mm -mm. We are repairing the breach for real. And I'm so excited to be here with you, sharing with you all day. We've been pouring in. Hold on. Let me get all my lighties there. Give me a second. Yeah, I had to jump right back in here. We're ready to go. We're ready to get it. We are the repairers of the breach. We are doing it. Like, people have been talking about it. People send a little shout out. I'm blurry. Do I look blurry or am I clear, family? Y'all tell me if I'm clear or not. Got to do a check. I've been having some fun with the internet. Am I clear or am I, am I blurry? Y'all talk to me. Am I coming in clear? Y'all give me some feedback. I think I'm clear. Y'all tell me, I think I'm clear, but I want to make sure. Your mind says I'm clear now. Okay, everybody says I'm clear now. Might have been just gauging. Okay, thank you, Sister Hannah. Thank you, Rush. Thank you, Jimmy. Looks like it's clear now. All right. It's just getting ready because it knows it's going to be hot. This internet knows this was going to be hot. Because so many people talk about we repair the repairers of the breach. Repairs of what breach? What is the breach, by the way? The breach means something's broken. The breach means something is broken. Brother Daniel Libby said, everybody hit the like button. Everybody hit the like button. Everybody like, share, drop a comment, everybody. Because that's how you help repair the breach. You get the algorithm rocking, you're touching more people. And what we have to have people do is go, hmm, I knew something wasn't right. See, that's like everybody that's like that considers yourself part of the PTT family to promote the true family. Drop a PTT family in the chat. If you go, yep, I'm locked and loaded. I'm back to back. I'm part of the PTT family. Drop that in the chat if you feel like we're all family. We're part of the family. Like you love what we build here. You love the communion we have with each other. Go ahead, hit that PTT family in the chat. Look at that. Luya said, hold on, who's that? Catherine says PTT family. Rush, Robert Arenson, Shannon Collier, Hannah Tello, Jamie Galloway, Patience, Terry, Nene Patterson, Sylvia, Yamani Thomas, Patrice Pearson, William Pollock, Sherry Harrod, Jamie Carter, Queen Nelson. Yeah, Isaac, you shit. Joe Carden, Ebony Carden, Eric Martin. Eric Martin's in the building. Look at here, Ashley Spence, Sophia, Sophia, Sophia. So we all family. Brian Robertson, Deborah Brady, Young Glorious. We got Randy Moon, Melanie Summers. Mont, what's that? Montabia Gray. What's going on? Montabia. I love that. It says PTT family. Daniel Libby, Eartha, Eartha Robinson says we're in the family. Diane Casey, Kadeem Elliott, Luya says we family. Bill Henry from Edmonton, Canada says we family. Brandon Tello says we family. Yeah. Are we family? Norman Irvin says we family. Eric McDowell says we family. So we've been in here building family together. Now what we're doing today is we're doing kingdom business. So we would love for you to be able to participate in our telethon. We're doing more of a fundraiser to get the word spread even further so you can support and deal with the first fruits. Like I, whenever I get an opportunity to do first fruits, I'm going to do, I'm going to go hard on it. I'm going to let Yahuwah know that, hey, I believe in you. I'm going to sow deep into what you got going on. And we do it multiple ways, but y'all got this fertile ground called the Promote the Truth platform. 
Man. It's unbelievable. <laughs> Joseph, we got a new t-shirt. PTT Fem. Mm-hmm. Maybe Lena heard it. Gonna get us a PTT family with the team. Family. Like, you got to think about it. We don't need a building. And then what me and Lena and the team are working on is having a couple times a year after we get the Sakut done, we want to try to designate maybe once or twice where we can do some leadership, family leadership together. Like the 144 people. Who are the 144? You heard in Hazun, Revelation 14, 1, it talks about the 144,000. Shannon, you need to order for him? Shannon don't got the order for him? Lena, how do they get the order for him? How do they get the order for him, by the way? Oh, yeah. If you look in your email. Or Shannon, send an email to info at promote the truth.com. They'll get you the order for him. Because the email went out to all golds and above. All golds and above got the email. If you're a gold and you didn't get the email invite for Saku. Then you need to send an email to info at promote the truth.com and they will send you, send you the link to register. <clears throat> yeah, we're getting the retreat lined up. The virtual retreat's getting together. You got to talk to Lena about it. Talk to your sister, Lena. Evan. She's in charge of that one. Getting it lined up. That's going to be blitzing. All right. So we're talking about repairing the breach. Now, why do we need to repair the breach? Breach means something's broke. There's a gap. Well, let's go over. Let's check it out. Let's go over to Yeshia. Yeshia Yahoo. That's Isaiah. And let's see what he's talking about. Let's see what he's talking about. Yeah. Let's go to uh, Yeshayahu chapter 58. Isaiah 58. I'm going to start at the top. I was going to get down in. I'm just going to start at the top. Y'all ready? Yeshayahu. Isaiah 58, 1. All right. Shout loudly. <clears throat> Do not hold back. Raise your voice like a trumpet. Announce to my people their crimes. See, this is before Yahushua came. So Yahushua's going back and forth with them all the time. That's why they always had a sacrifice. Bulls and goats and sheep and everything. They're going back and forth. See, but now we got the ultimate sacrifice. We don't got to go, we don't have to go back and forth. But we still got this big break that nobody's been able to figure out how to tie it up. I'm gonna show you what we got to do. I'm gonna show y'all what we got to do. Announce to my people their crime, to the house of Yaakov their sins. They seek me day after day, desiring knowledge of my ways. Like a nation that acted righteously, that didn't abandon their allure. Come on, sub sister Lupe. It says, Yahuwah said, y'all abandoned me, but you acting like you seeking for me. You acting like you rolling with me. Y'all ready? They asked me for righteous judgments, wanting to be close to their allure. Thank you, Diana Santos. Who is the truth for real? Why do we quit? This is the people talking now. Y'all get ready to learn today. Daniel Bacote coming in hot with some kingdom business. Daniel, so let's run it up. Let's run it up. So the people said, why do we fast and don't see any results? Why do we fast 
and we don't see any results. Why do we afflict ourselves and you don't notice? We're talking to Yahuwah. Yet on your fast day, this is what Yahuwah says. He replies, yet on your fast day, you do whatever you want and you oppress all your workers. You argue and brawl. See, that's why we're not going to argue. You quarrel, you argue, you fight. See, you're always fussing and fighting with each other. Arguing, debating. Yahoo said, you argue, you brawl, and then you fast. <laughs> you hit each other violently with your fists. You shouldn't fast as you are doing today if you want to make your voice heard on high. He said, the way you're doing things is not the way you should be doing things. He's talking to the nations today. Back then, he was talking strictly to the children of Israel. This message is to the nations today. Is this the kind of fast that I choose? A day of affliction? Of bending one's head like a reed? And of lying down in mourning? And sackcloth and ashes? Is this what you call a fast, a day acceptable to Yahuwah? Isn't this, isn't this the type of fast that I choose? See, who wants to hear this? Isn't, he goes, this is the type of fast that I choose. Releasing your wicked restraints. Like forbidding people to say Yahuwah's name. Putting up the the, the, the pagan tetragrammaton, four consonants, instead of knowing that his name is four vowels. Untying the, the ropes of the yoke. Untie all these yokes, these ropes of, of the yoke. Setting free the mistreated and breaking every yoke, as a matter of fact. Isn't it sharing your bread with those that are hungry? And bringing the homeless poor into your house? Covering the naked when you see them? And not hiding from your own family? Some of y'all, y'all find Yahuwah and you hide from your family. You go, no, they're pagan. No, I walk right up in the middle of my family in the name of Yahuwah. I walk right up in the middle of them. Cool, I ain't screaming it out, but I come in the name of Yahuwah. I ain't hiding from nobody. Hallelujah. Watch out, it's going to get hot. If you do these things, then your light will break out like the dawn and you will be healed quickly. Your own, your own righteousness will walk before you. And Yahuwah's esteem will be your rear guard. It'll protect your back. Yahuwah said, I got your back now. You do what I say. Then you will call me. And I, Yahuwah, will answer you. You will cry for help. And, and your allure will say, I am here. How many of y'all want Yahuwah to say, I am here when you call him? Huh? When you call on Yahuwah, don't you want to hear him say, I am here, what you need? Hallelujah. If you remove the yoke from among you, the finger pointing, the wicked speech, the gossiping, I keep, Yahuwah is giving us reinforcement on this. Two or three days, he's pounding this to stop any gossiping. Don't say one negative thing about your neighbor or I'm going to throw you in a lake. The lake of fire for any gossipers. If you remove the yoke from among you, the finger pointing, the wicked speech, if you open your heart to the hungry and provide abundantly for those who are afflicted, your light will shine in the darkness and your gloom will be like, the, like noon, like afternoon. You notice what he said? You got to provide abundantly. Oh, my goodness. 
What are we going to do with this, Father? What are we going to do with this? Yahuwah said, you, if you do these things, you got to open your heart to the hungry. What are people more hungry for than anything? It ain't food that's the first thing. It's the word. But you got to open your heart. That's why we got TSNT.org up here. See, that's an opportunity for you to open your heart, feed these hungry people. But here's how you got to do it. You got to first fruit this thing. It says you are to provide abundantly for those who are afflicted. Well, who's afflicted? The world. You got to provide abundantly. Well, if you ain't got no abundance, If they guilted you out, that's why I'm glad Brother Bill said, let's go do Yaakov, James chapter 5, and let's smash all this stuff about having negative opinions about abundance and wealth. Because Yahuwah is telling us in the Tanakh, you are commanded to provide abundantly. But if you ain't got abundance, you can't do the abundance. So if you don't have it, but you want to get it, how do you do it? You got to sow with where you're at. You got to start from where you are. You got to look at your resources and say, Yahoo, I'm going to bring you my first fruits today. You don't do it one time. Like a lot of people get hooked and say, well, I brought Yahoo my first fruits at one time. It's periodically. I'd say once a month. That's me. Once a month, Yahoo, hey. Once a month, right around the new moon. The can you imagine the day after the new moon? Or on the new moon, you bring Yahuwah your first fruits. Here you go, Yahuwah, for this new month, I'm sowing into you. Can you imagine if you pick up some of these great habits? That's how you do it. You're going to have to learn how to do this. It's called faith. Some of y'all are like, man, I don't know if I can let some of this go. And guess what? You're going to keep saying, man, you're going to stay in that rut. Because you ain't opened up your heart. You ain't provided abundantly. You, hey, and when you do that, he says, your light's going to finally shine. And any of this gloom's going away. It's going to turn to new. Yahuwah will guide you continually if you do this. And provide for you even in parched places. Are y'all going to get this word and do this word? Yahuwah, I'm a witness. I am a witness. In the parched places, when they when they drug us through all kind of hell and held us out to die, Yahuwah came and provided for us in parched places, in our deserts, in our life. Yeah. Because he said he will guide us continually if we do what? Open our hearts and provide abundantly. If we don't open our hearts and provide abundantly, he won't continually guide and provide for us. This is very simple. You have to make a decision, though. You have to make a decision. I we always got to make these decisions. What are you gonna do? Yahuwah will continually guide you and provide for you, even in your parched places. He will rescue your bones. You will be like a water garden like a spring of water that won't ever run dry. Come on. But there's a big if on this. You got to do the if part. If you open your heart and you provide abundantly, he going to turn it on. I love this. I don't know what y'all going to do with this. Now listen, Here's, here we go. And those from among you, see, what he's saying here is, whoever gets this, I'm telling everybody, I'm calling everybody. Who going to choose it? And those from among you shall build the old waste places. You shall raise up the foundations of many generations. 
Woo! And you will be called the repairer of the breach, the restorer of streets to dwell in. That's us. That's us. We are, we are the real ones. We, I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you why we're the real ones. A lot of people like to say, well, I'm repairing the breach. We're like, well, tell me, how do you repair the breach? What do you do? Because the next verse is going to tell us how to repair the breach. The verses before there told us how we're supposed to roll and how we're supposed to contribute. Brother Joe said, giving on behalf of my wifey, Mrs. Ebony Cardone, Carden, in the building. Thank you, brothers and sisters. Thank you, Sister Ebony. See, I'm telling you, are you going to open your heart up and say, Yahuwah, bless me indeed. Go ahead. I want to. I want you to be with me continually. I'm going to keep walking in your favor. I'm going to sow into your kingdom business. Daniel Bacote's got that assignment. Juanita's got that assignment. She understand it. Jamie's got it. Ebony's got it. Joe's got it. Randy's got it. Rush has got it. I'm telling you, there's a lot of people in here. They got it, but a lot of new people, you need to learn to get it and get it quick. It didn't take these people a long time to go, oh, I get it. They came in one or two sessions and said, I'm in the truth place. Soon as they came in here and they knew the truth, they, came, they said, let's go. They start sowing in the kingdom business. Right away. And they keep rising up. Now. This is going to get deep. If you stop trampling the Sabbath, the Shabbat. How are you going to repair the breeze now? You're going to give us specifics. You ready, Sister Renee? He said, if you stop trampling the Sabbath, the Shabbat, stop doing whatever you want on my set apart day. And then consider the Shabbat a delight set apart to Yahuwah, honored. And honor it instead of doing things that you want to do in your way. Seeking what you want to do, doing your business as usual. If you would stop doing that, but take delight in Yahuwah, then I will make you ride on the heights of the earth. I will sustain you with the heritage of your ancestor, Yaakov. Go all the way back to Jacob. The mouth of Yahuwah has spoken. Guess what we doing? We teaching people how to guard the commandments. We're teaching people what's the sign between Yahuwah and his people. We're teaching people the right day to do the Shabbat. We're teaching people when a day is, what the night is, we teaching people how to not break the Shabbat. You want to know why? Once we teach people to do this the right way, he says we're going to repair the breach. Believe it or not, it's hanging right there in that fourth commandment. Repairing the breach is in that fourth commandment. Remember the Shabbat to keep it set apart. See, as soon as, you, as soon as you get it the right way, as soon as you get this thing the right way, you go, I am going to honor the new moon. Why? It makes me know the right Shabbat. I'm in complete alignment with Yahuwah. And now I'm a restorer of the breach. What y'all going to do? Ooh, some good old fresh mango juice. Now you're a repairer. You see people in here early today. Can I go play some basketball? What's that? Seeking to do what you want to do. 
I told you to rest, call it a delight. Stay within your borders. What's within your borders? About a half a mile. They used to have it to where you could have enough to walk to the I call the temple. Maybe go walk and visit some families, but you ain't going no more than about one kilometer or half a mile, a little over half a mile, 0.6 miles. You stay within that border. You ain't driving, it's walking. If you want to go out, walk. Think about that. This is how we do it. We repair the breach. We got to stop the leak in the dam. The leak is people doing Sabbath, Shabbat all over the place. They're doing Friday evening to Saturday evening. Pagan to the max. Mega pagan. They doing Sunday. Mega pagan. The people doing Friday to Saturday think they better than the people doing Sunday. And they both are twisted. That's what we're doing. You're going to have to call it a delight. So you, he just gave us some clear instructions here. He says, hey, hey, you got to open your heart up. And you got to what? You got to do this abundantly. You got to do this abundantly. You got to provide abundantly. For those that are afflicted, that means the people don't know no better. You don't know no better. That's right. Sister Queen said, I'm getting you ready for Yahuwah's return. I'm telling you, he got it all in me. Y'all don't even understand my witness. It's one of the strongest witnesses in the world. Because this world wanted to give me everything that all the people want in this world. Want to give me all the fame. Give me money like you don't even believe. Oh, what's whatever? I mean, I, it was times, man, it was just whatever. I've been in like crazy, stupendous situations with Satan sitting there jingling that thing in front of me. Go, come on, come on. Don't you want this? Don't this feel great? Look, come in this world. Man, I got posters of myself. I'm in the newspaper all the time. I got accolades and trophies and awards and all kind of stuff. But how come I how come I don't how come I don't go after that? What stopped me from wanting that? Like my listen, y'all know who Alex Rodriguez is? I mean, he made over $500 million. Over half a billion dollars playing baseball. That was my roommate in 1995. I mean, you ought to get that picture of me and Ken Griffey Jr. on the bench. Send that to me. I'm playing next to Ken Griffey Jr. I'm like, I blow, I'm sitting there rehabbing, but I was getting ready to play next to him. Hall of Famer. We came up together. I came up with Pedro Martinez, Mike Piazza. All of us, is, you know, we all own all-star minor league baseball cars together. It's crazy. I'll show y'all stuff one day. Go, when y'all come to Sakuda, I'll bring out some of this stuff and trip y'all out. The world was trying to give me everything. But there was something I'm telling y'all, man. I was like, and I tried out. I'm telling you the truth. But I was trying the world out. I'm like, man, is this really what I want to do? Don't even care. Like, just kind of be numb. Do whatever you want to do. And I got a lot of friends out there that, man, I'm telling you, I've seen it. Buck wild. Buck wild. They'd have a woman in every city. I've seen them have their wives in hotels on one floor, another woman on another floor, and then another woman on another floor. I've seen all of that. And they're sitting there encouraging you. Hey, you can do that. You can do that. I'm like, I don't like it. That's too dang old stressful for me. Think about that, Lupe. I'm telling you. I was chosen, but I had to choose it. But man, I tell you, it was out there digging. I'm it was just jingling like, come on, man, come get it. 
But guess what? There's something that's kept pulling me. And my daddy will keep telling you, because I kept buying one concordance after the next and lexicons and everything you could imagine. I'm buying everything. Kept digging for the word. I kept digging. I want to, I want to dig some more. I want to dig some more. I want to find out why I'm here. Don't y'all want to know really why you're here? What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Like, did you just show up out of the blue? Is it just a mistake or is it just an accident? Did it just boom you here? Like, what are you doing here? Are you just breathing? Are you just taking up oxygen, but you ain't making no impact? Or you make an impact? I'm telling you, I'm sitting there with my own eyes watching people and promote the truth. I can see some of y'all on social media and you're getting the word out there. And I'm loving watching the people we're training. They don't argue with people. And you see it, some of it start. And people go, you know what? We appreciate you. Hey, hey it's on you. This is what we believe. We're moving on. Very disciplined. I see a lot of discipline developing. And I'm telling you, man, it's something else. Now, we know this is a, a major, major, major issue, this repair of the breach thing. We got to get people to understand, open up your heart, you got to abundantly, you got to abundantly give, and then you're going to watch it come back. Then we go repair, well, this is how we're going to repair the breach. We're going to get the Sabbath, the Shabbat, sure it up. We're going to make it evident that we know exactly how to tell time so we can know exactly when the Shabbat day is. It's not a, conti a continual seven-day cycle. It's just not. People go, I don't understand that. Six days you work, seven. Be quiet and listen to Yahuwah. He said, remember the Sabbath day. Remember the seventh day. When is the seventh day? Well, in order to get the seventh day, you would have to be able to tell us what is the first day? Now, if you're going to come to me and you're going to come and tell me or any of us that understand this, that you literally have a million percent calculated calendar from the time they were in the garden. Who's got that garden calendar? I do. I can pull it out for you anytime. I got the I got the calendar that was in the garden. I got the calendar that followed them all the way up to when they got delivered out of Matsar, out of Egypt. I got that same calendar. I got a copy of it. I can pull it out every day. I got a copy of the calendar that Yahuwah, when he brought them out of Matzar, and he told them, what? This new moon is the first month of the year for you. <laughs> we got the same calendar. Is it on paper? No. Is it, on, did, is it on a smartphone that was back in the garden? No. Does, Na, does NASA have it? No. Thank you, Brother Randy in the building. <laughs> Randy, hey, Randy says, I know you're a scholar. Yes. Got to be. I'm on here because I was, hey, my flesh would have rather been out there running in this world. That was that's my flesh. I'm telling y'all, it was too exciting. Being in stadiums packed out, woo! Crowds rocking. I remember we were the first team, 1992, to play the Taiwanese professional team. 
in Taiwan. We got to meet the president, had his dinner, and they had a whole thing. And we went out there, man, it was 45,000 people in that stadium, and they let them come in there with pots and pans. Never had this happen before in my career. 45,000 people with pots and pans. And them people was banging them pans, dog. You couldn't hear yourself think. It was it was deafening loud. I think I mean we I think we were putting um like toilet paper and stuff in our ears. It was so loud. It was because ah, they streamed them games. It's big time. They streamed them games from Taiwan over into China. That's a billion people in China. Now, I mean, it was there. We were, we went, man. It was packed out. It was people going crazy. It's the first time American team ever played. And, and it's nuts. I got a picture of it on my Instagram when I was down there. Just crazy. Ah, it was nuts. I'm just telling you right now, this stadium that we're in is the greatest stadium in the history of the world. Greatest stadium. And we know the time. We know what time it is. Look at Brother Elmer says, only in promote the truth, teaching about the Shabbat that I observe and honor, because it's the real Shabbat. Now me and my wife, the problem that we always argued about the Shabbat was solved. It got solved. Because we come, we come together and make it make sense. Can't nobody pull out no count, no paper calendar, no papyrus calendar. They can't pull out no stone tablet calendars and tell you when the first day is. Nobody. They literally will be pompous and arrogant and go, well, you know, Yahoo wouldn't he wouldn't allow his, his calendar to be off. You know, it's been it's been researched by who? I'm telling you, I've heard people that call on Yahoo get pompous talking about. That the scientists and the historian, they'll go the historians and, 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 and the, the scientists, they have went back and they've been able to identify that this calendar we have now is exactly the way it was in the beginning. And I look at them and I go, you ain't got to lie, Craig. You ain't got to lie. Y'all know what I'm talking about. You ain't got to lie. <laughs> you ain't got to lie. I'm going to tell you right now, let's just assume you're going to talk about these historians. Let's assume it. How many of them historians call on the name of Yahuwah? How many of them historians call on the name of Yahuwah? How many? Think about how simple this is. The Yahuwah told us he was like clear. He said, this new moon will be the first month for you and the first month of the year for you. So now all we got to do is figure out when is the new moon. That's it. That's all we got to do now. We, we don't have to have no paper. We don't have to have nothing. We just look up. And we study. Now I'm going to tell you. What this forces you to do. Is acknowledge there's a creator. That's why I believe Yahuwah did it that way. He making you look up to him. I'm not going to trust a scientist. I'm not going to trust a scholar. I'm not going to trust a historian. Because I don't know any of them that they say these so-called people who call on Yahoo. Where's their channel at? You know, I've been following Yahoo for all these years, and I've been able to go back and do all the scientific research, and I've done this historian, and I go all the way back, and we was able to trace it all the way back. And me and my family, we call on Yahoo. You ain't seen no channel like that. They don't exist. 
The remnant is the remnant, for real. We part of this remnant, like for real, for real. See, a lot of people looking around to say where they're at. Y'all come and get in my shoes. Y'all come and jump in my shoes. Go back to May 2007. Oh, yeah, when I found Yahuwah. How did I find him? I found him on a web page from Yahoo search engine. It was not that you, if you type Yahoo's name in the search engine in May of 2007, zero results come up. This is bizarre. Zero results come up. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> Just sent me a picture. Zero results come up, fam. How can that be the biggest search engine in the world? Huh? This is a funny man. Deborah, you believe that? Hold on. <laughs> You're, people just be saying stuff, right? I'll be cracking up. They just start saying stuff. Calendar found in Dead Sea Scrolls, Jubilees written by Noah, and the sixth book of the Torah. Do you know how many of them Jubilees books? By the way, as soon as you put J up there, you discredit it. When you go Jubilees, you know ain't no J back there. So it couldn't have been called Jubilees. Do you know how many of them books of Jubilees are distorted? Like a massive. How do I know this? I've been doing this for 30 years. I've been tracking down Yahuwah's ways for 17. You know how many times I've, I've got books of Jubilees in my possession? Got them. Sitting right in my possession. Every one of them I've looked at is for a fact distorted thus far. Every one of them. You see, let me tell you something to help that young lady out and anybody else that tries to outsmart Yahuwah. This is what people, they want, oh, I got one on you. It's this hidden book over here. I'm telling you, I got all of them. I'm just telling you, I got all of them. I'm telling you right now, I promise you, if you bring me a book of Jubilees and you show me anything different than Shamu chapter 12, verse 1 and 2, Bereshit chapter 1, 14 through 18, you show me anything different, I'm going to tell you you got false teaching. Because not anybody, zero bodies, nobody, nobody can trump what Masha wrote. Can't do it. Nobody's allowed to trump Masha. Whatever Masha wrote, the entire rest of the scriptures has to agree with what Masha wrote or is corrupt. And that's a fact. Yahushua himself told us, hey, listen to Masha. Why? Why did Yahushua tell us, listen to Masha? Why y'all think Yahushua, when he was here, why do you think Yahushua, y'all give me some feedback. Why do y'all think Yahushua said, listen to Masha? Why y'all think? This is interesting. So once you stop and think about it, you go, oh, I get it. Why do you think Yahushua said, listen to Masha? Why? Quiet in the chat right now. Crickets in the chat. I can't believe we got crickets in the chat. <laughs> oh, here they come. <laughs> Woo! Think about this.
Are uh, y'all ready for this? Who did Yahuwah give the commandments to? Who did Yahuwah personally talk to? Like, personally talk to. Hold on. I'm going to make sure y'all understand this. Y'all, Now, now I'm waiting for your Ruach to come down. He doesn't come and hit me now. <laughs> now. He done come down. Shamu 33. Now I'm going to ask y'all a question. I'm going to ask you another question. Who is Yahusha? Who is Yahusha? Yahushua told us to listen to Masha. So the next question we got to ask before we even deal with the Masha thing is who is Yahushua that's telling us to listen to Masha? Yahushua is Yahuwah. Who was talking to Masha on that mountain? Yahuwah. So to tell me anybody else. Wait a minute. I mean, when you get this down, you slow it down, you understand. Once you get this down, you got it down. I want to set this. I was waiting for Yahoo to talk to him. I, I want, I want, I want y'all to go to. Uh, this is gonna be good. Bam and Bar, Numbers. Let's go to Bam and Bar. Let's go to Numbers. We're gonna go to Numbers chapter twelve, verse eight. Listen to this. Watch this. And what was going on? Let's go to numbers. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go smash racism while we're here. We're going to get a two for one. <laughs> we're going to get a two for one from Yahuwah. Hallelujah. Thank you for the telethon today, Yahuwah. Thank you for giving me the energy. Going on five hours sleep. Thank you for giving me that energy, Yahuwah, to do your work and to be faithful here and be rocking with you all day. For the, for the incredible body that you're calling. Thank you, Yahuwah. Hallelujah. Why did Yahushua say, listen to Masha? See, I'm going to give y'all sound teaching so that all these vain philosophies that people throw up and these smoke screens and these little secret books, they can't even get the New Testament right. I mean, think about the arrogance of people that try to throw Enoch in your face. They try to throw Jubilees in your face. But then you turn to them and you go, why have you not figured out how to get out of that Greek New Testament? What have you been doing? Like, do you believe you have a savior? Yes. What's his name? Yahushua? No, it's not. You ain't got that part right first. You got to get that part right. You know why you ain't got that part right? You greeked up. You chasing Jubilees. You chasing Enoch. And you ain't even got this Greek new. You need a savior. Otherwise, are you sacrificing bulls and goats? If you hey, if you ain't got Yahushua right, who he is, you better get to sacrificing. Because that has to be the belief system you got. If you hooked up on the book of Enoch, which most of them are corrupted, I know how to get it right. You guys got to take the time. I've been trained to do it. 
Jubilees, I know how to get that one right. I was like, I'll get there. Give me a few years. I'll clean that stuff up. I promise you in the name of Yahuwah. I promise you there is a book of Enoch. I promise you. But I promise you the ones that are out there are corrupt. Just like this New Testament is corrupt. So if you ain't got that right. If you are dependent on a savior. But you don't even know your savior's name for real, for real. Don't bring up no other books to me. Let's first deal with who is Yahushua. Once we deal with who Yahushua is, then you want to talk about some other stuff. I'll talk to you about some other stuff. Now, hold on. I'm going to deal with it. So Yahushua, once you know who he is, once you know who Yahushua is, and you go, he's Yahuwah, then you understand why he said, listen to Masha. Then the prophets. Notice, because Masha was a prophet. He never said, he never bunched Masha in with the other prophets. Never. Y'all notice that? Masha's a prophet. He never bunched Masha in. He separated Masha. He would say Masha and the prophets. Tell them, Diane Casey, we're going to get this found and promote the truth. We're going to get the foundation straight. <laughs> Miss Q said, tell it like a T.I. is, Jay. I'm telling it. Ain't nobody going to get me distracted. You can't come in here shaking bank and cornflake, mate, they say in the country. You can't do it. I got, I got the sniper of snipers sitting on the roof. His name is Yahuwah Ruach. He's sitting there. He's the true sniper. He'll snuff it out. Two, boom. Out. Now watch this. Bamid Bar. Numbers chapter 12. Now, Mar now Marim and Aaron. These are Masha's brother and sisters. That's his sister and brother. Spoke against Masha because of who? The Kushaim woman he took. The woman that was very, very dark skinned, Ethiopian. What was Masha's skin tone look like? More likely, probably like mine. But she was that dark, dark woman. That deep, deep African black. So they spoke against Masha because he married this dark, dark, dark woman. Look how they jacked that one up in the movies. You done had, well, they finally did some justice on one of the Moses movies. They, they finally did some justice. At least they had a black woman. Look at that movie in, uh, with Charleston Heston. That's a light, lighter brown woman. This Cushim women, this Cushite, they call it Cushite, pagan name. Ethiopian. I'm talking about black, black, darkest black skin you can get. The darkest skin you can get to be of, of the black tone. Masha said, that's my baby right there. She looked beautiful to me. I, whew, she got my back. Yeah. It didn't matter. She could have been white, 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 white. She could have been yellow. Could have been red. Don't matter. Masha fell in love with this woman. And the fact is, she was dark, dark, because she's Ethiopian. And, and Marim and, and Aaron spoke against Masha because of this Kushim, this Ethiopian woman he had taken for a wife. Because he had taken her to be his woman. They was race, they was doing Marim and Aaron was playing racism, fam. At that moment, they pulled out the racism card. And they said, Has Yahuwah only spoken through Masha? Jealousy card. 
coveting car. Has he, uh, has he not also spoken through us? And Yahuwah heard it. Wait a minute. When they said that, when they went, when they got jealous and they got racist, Yahuwah heard it. When they got jealous and they got racist, says Yahuwah heard it. And the man Masha was a very humble man, more than all the other men that are on the face of the earth. Now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. We got a ton of lessons happening right here, right now. In the first three verses, we're dealing with racism. We're dealing with, we're dealing with jealousy. And now we're dealing with humility. Y'all got to take something out of that. Y'all got to go in the mirror and go, I'm going to make sure I mirror that part of Masha. Yahusha told us, listen to Masha. And now we hear that Masha was the most humble person on earth. Why does that make a difference? And suddenly, Yahuwah said to Masha and to Aaron and Marine, you three come out over to the tent of appointment. Come over to my tent. Y'all imagine Yahuwah say, come over here. You don't want to be the person that was jealous and that was racist. Because sometime or another, Yahuwah's going to say, come over here. You don't be in this situation. <laughs> My daddy said I'm hot as fire on this one. Yeah. I'm so, hey, I'm, my daddy planned that in me early on. We live in the deep south. Racism, I've been called an N-word every decade of my life. I'm in my 50s. That's five decades I've been called an N-word. Had every reason. They try to hang me. I'm riding a bike and I had a bunch of white dudes try to throw a rope around my neck and hang me. It hit me right here and I slid off. Good thing I was fast. I got every reason in the world to be racist. My dad never put that in me. Thank you, pops. He must have knew something about Yahuwah feels this way. So the three came over to the tent. And Yahuwah came down in the column of a cloud and stood in the door of the tent. He called Aaron and Marim over to him. They both came forward. Now everybody pay attention what's about to go down here. People don't teach this. Are they teaching this in the pulpit? Man, my sister Sarah Hogue had me crying early. I saw her comment. She said, you know why they call it a pulpit? They pull people into the pit of hell. <laughs> they pull them into hell. Pull them in the pit. That was cracking me up, man. Now we got to pay attention to what's going on here. And Yahuwah came down in the column of a cloud and stood in the door of the tent. And he called Aaron, Aaron and Marim forward, called him, and they went forward. And Yahuwah said, hear now my words. If your prophet is from Yahuwah, I make myself known to him in a vision. I speak to him in a dream. But not so with my servant Masha. He is the most trustworthy in all my house. Now we got trust. We got another issue. We got we got trust. How many of y'all going to be the most trustworthy? How many of y'all going to be the most humble? How many of y'all going to have a servant's heart? Get all that pride out of your system. He's the most trustworthy in all of my house. I speak with him face to face. 
He hears from my mouth to his mouth. And plainly, I don't speak to him in riddles or visions. And he sees the form of Yahuwah. So why were you not afraid to speak against my servant, Masha? Come on, Adam Moore. <laughs> he come with a strong one. Why were you not afraid to speak against my servant, my, my, my? Why were you not afraid? I speak to him. He see my form. Hallelujah. What did Yahuwah do right there? He killed racism. Anybody pull any race junk on you, you whip it out. Bomb it, bomb. You whip out Numbers 12, chapter 12. So you better go read that chapter. If you're going to stick over that racism land, you better go read that chapter. Yahuwah going to deal with you. And the displeasure of Yahuwah burned against them. And then he left. And the cloud turned away from above the tent. And look, Marim was leprous, as white as snow. And Aaron turned to Marim. And look, she was a leper. She was full of leprosy. Full of leprosy. And Aaron said to Masha, oh, my master, while ago you were talking some trash. Brother Aaron, while ago you was talking trash against your brother. So I'll be telling y'all, don't be saying nothing negative against your brother or sister in Yahuwah. Blood is thicker than water, but spirit is thicker than blood. Your spiritual brothers and sisters, this is a higher level than even your physical. You better say one negative word about your brother or sister because Yahuwah's displeasure is going to burn against you. Who's teaching what I'm teaching right now? Tell the truth. They scared to death teachers. Now you turn over to, to, to Masha and you go, oh, my master. While ago, you were saying, is he the only one to get to talk to Yahoo? He the only one? Now you say, oh, my master. Please do not hold against us this, this sin in which we have foolishly done, in which we have sinned against you. Please do not let her be one that's left to dead. He knows she's done. She's done. He knows it. Hey, Yahoo is the one that did it. Why is he screaming and talking to Masha? Why ain't he calling out to Yahoo? Come back, please. I come in, Yahoo, please, please. No, he's looking at Masha. Please do not let her be left as one as dead. Like one that's come out of the mother's womb. With half of his flesh that's eaten up. That's how bad she looked. Like her flesh was being ate up. She looked that bad. Guess what Masha did? Guess what Masha did? Masha cried out to Yahuwah. Saying, oh all. Almighty. Please heal her. Please. They talking trash against him. But you remember who he was? Said he was the most humble in all the land. In the world. First thing he did. Was he had compassion on them. I always like to give people some compassion first. Give them a first pass of compassion. They don't like it. Now we turn the heat on but I like what Masha did here. He, he, he has some compassion. Because he, hey, listen, I want to give him a chance to get this right. Now, 
The guy who would have left, he gone. But if Masha called him, And Yahuwah said to Masha. As soon as he called out to him, Yahuwah came right back and talked to Masha. We don't, we don't have nobody else in scripture that Yahuwah is doing that with. Y'all know any other examples where, where this type of interaction is going on with Yahuwah and another human being? Anybody know any other examples? He came right back. Quick. And Yahuwah said to Masha, if her father had but had, had only just spit in her face, would she not be ashamed for seven days? Let her be shut out of the camp for seven days. And then after that, you can readmit her. She had to stay in that state for seven. Y'all know how long them days had to be for her? Y'all know how long them days had to be? Hanuk, he took him. We don't hear about no interaction with him. Adam, he took him. But we don't hear about no interaction. I'm talking about interaction. What's going on? What's happening? What are we doing today? What well, you want me to say to them? I tell you this. How are we gonna do this? They was talking, man. Masha and Yahuwah was having a hands-on. I'm gonna prove it. They was having a hands-on. I'm talking about relationship where they was tight. Y'all don't understand what I'm saying. Let me go to true scriptures. I got this one translated. Shamu. I'm going to Shamu chapter 33. Watch. Watch what happens. I won't prove what I'm saying and how important this is. This lesson is so critical. That's why y'all can't be missing these lessons. If you missed the live, you got to go back and watch the replay. Because Yahoo is teaching through me like crazy right now. It's a pouring of the spirit. Y'all feel it? It's a pouring happening. I don't know how long he's going to keep me turned on like this. I don't know. But we need to all understand. He's talking. Watch this. I'm going to dial it in. I want to get it from the true scriptures. I don't want to translate it. I've already done it. I've already done it. Y'all bear with me one second. I'm telling you, man, Yahuwah is talking. But y'all imagine this woman sitting there for seven days. I bet you, how much y'all how much y'all want to bet that cured her racism? Come on, brother Larry. You know what I'm talking about. You hear his voice. How much, how many y'all want to bet that Mareem, she hey. You walked up in the camp, black, red, purple, whatever. Hey, how you doing? How you doing? <laughs> anyway, I bet you she didn't look at nobody. Oh, they're ugly. Some of y'all be saying this stupid stuff. Y'all who are going to burn against you? Hey, Marie, everybody beautiful. How y'all doing? <laughs> Seven day leprosy. Like her skin was getting ate up. Falling off? Come on, man. Is this nuts? It's crazy when you think about it. Hold on, let me see if I can grab this real quick. This is important. <laughs> it's cracking me up, too. Yeah, this is cracking. Hold on. Oh, no one. I can't. <laughs> it's cracking me up, too. All right, I got Hold on, do I got the truth covers over here? I, if I don't have it loaded, I'm just going to have to go translate it on the fly. Because it's going to take too long to load. I might have it here. <laughs> I'm cracking up, though. Because you can imagine her racism was healed. And some of y'all keep playing with it. And Yahoo going to get you. He going to get you. You watch. 
I just spoke a word on you. You go ahead and play that racism stuff if you want. Black, white, brown, it don't matter. It don't matter which direction. Ain't not one of you or one of us better than another one in any shape, form, or fashion. Don't listen to that mess that's out there floating around. It's dumb. We all come from two people. And all of a sudden, somebody's going to try to pull something out like it's different. Come on, man. Who y'all think you're talking to? <laughs> y'all y'all trying to fool people. You want to know why? Because people want to do all that stuff that says, the scripture says it's, it's, it's foul. All right, I'm going over Shemu 33. I think I got it in the true scriptures. There it is. Now watch this. Whenever the people, Shamu, this is translated from the true scriptures, 33, verse 10. How we doing, fam? Watch. Shamu 33, Exodus 33, starting at verse 10. Whenever the people saw the pillar of cloud standing at the entrance of the tent, they all stood and worshiped at the entrance of their tent, at the entrances of their tents. Yahuwah would speak to Masha face to face as one would speak to their friend. Then Masha would return to camp, but his young aide, Husha, who he ended up calling Yahusha, that's where Yahusha's name comes out of, but his young aide, Husha, the son of Nun, did not leave the tent. Y'all got to understand. Yahuwah was dealing with Masha like a friend. For 40 years. So, help me understand this. That's why y'all can't trick me when y'all bring up other books and all this stuff. Who wrote the first five books of the scriptures? Masha. Who wrote the first five books of the scriptures? Masha. Who's better qualified to write the first five books of the scripture other than somebody that spent 40 years with Yahuwah talking to him face to face as a friend? Is there anybody else more qualified? And Larry, don't say Moshe. That's a pagan word. Don't say it. There's no O's and there's no E's. When you put an O and an E, I'm going to tell you right now, you're playing into Judaism. Now you're becoming a Pharisee, and that means you hate Yahuwah. You hate Yahuwah because you hate Yahusha. Y'all get that right. Masha, I gave you the correct spelling. You messed that one up? No, it's got an H on the end. Make sure that's correct, baby. Y'all only put Masha's name in the chat. <laughs> I'm going to prove it. In a, hey, no, you got it wrong, Elmer. I'm going to put it in the chat. <laughs> I'm going to give y'all the Hebrew letters. Well, well, how can it be this? How can, no, I'm telling you what it is. You ain't got to guess. I done spent too many years on this. It's very simple. Okay? It's my shot. <laughs> y'all put it every which way you can. Guessing, hoping, wishing. All right, who want me to put it in the chat? Now, now you want me to put, who wants me to put it in the chat? <laughs> Laura said, put all the names in the chat. Hey, ask the people who did the review with us. Ask them. They know. Bad or bad. <laughs> I am laughing. Juanita, you coming on the live with me? Melanie, that link, you and Sherry, Juanita, can y'all come on the live? Melanie, Sherry, the link that's in that chat. Y'all want me to put it back in there? I'll put it back in there. Melanie, Sherry, Juanita, can y'all come to the meeting? One of y'all or all of y'all, y'all work it out.
Y'all been putting in chat. <laughs> All right, there's the link. There you go. Let's see if y'all gonna come in. Which one y'all is gonna come in? Y'all coordinated too. It'd be good if y'all came in one at a time, maybe two, and then another one. All right, here we go. And hey, hey, Matati, y'all, he even gave it to you in the paleo. Shoot. That's what I'm talking about. We're going to clean this language up. Ain't we, Matati? We're going to clean it up. For real, for real. Ain't tight. I see melodies here. Hold on. Let me get y'all straight. This is hilarious. I know, I know my sister Melody been cracking up over there on me. I know she has been. <laughs> there it is. Hold on. Why did come why they put it together on on uh YouTube and smash them up? That's a mom, that's a shin, that's a hey. That's a mom, m ah sh ah. You see? You see that? Let me tell you. That's why you got to get rid of all that Moshe and all that other crap. You got to get rid of all that. Because that last letter is in Yahuwah's name. Now, what does his name mean? That's why you can't play with these names. You got to have these names right. Masha. Hmm? Why do you got to have it right? Now he says you got an echo. Why, 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 what does his name mean? I'm going to tell you this why. When you start doing these Moshe's and all this other kind of stuff, you're taking Yahuwah's name out of his name. You can't take Yahuwah's name out of Masha's name. Anybody does this Moshe and all that kind of stuff? Come on, Deontay. The rescuer is Yahuwah. Now, what was he? All right, go back and come back, Melvin. The rescuer is Yahoo is Yahuwah. Juanita's in there. Juanita, put your uh put your uh, video on, Juanita. I can't see you in the video before I bring you in. You see the what was Masha? He was the rescuer for who? For Yahuwah. He rescued the people. Juanita, I see you here, but I need you to put your video on. Y'all see how powerful this is? That's why you don't see me play with these names. When I see y'all put the O's and the E's and stuff, when you put the O's and the E's, let me tell you what you're doing. You're playing with Jehovah, and when you put the E's, you're playing with Yahweh. And I'm sitting up there as a gatekeeper. I ain't going to let it happen on my watch. I'm going to teach you, and I'm in, in love too. Like, hey, I know y'all know better than that. I know y'all know my heart. I love me some y'all. Love me some Larry. Love me some uh, Elmer. I know y'all. I know y'all love some Yahoo. I know it. But we're going to get it right. <laughs> hey, hey, you should. I just said, man, thank you. I've been doing it in the Greek so long. I know. They're going to watch. Hold on. Melanie, hang tight. Let me get, let me get Melanie, hang tight. I'm going to get Juanita in here first. <laughs> Can you see me? Can you hear me? I got you now. Okay. <laughs> but your voice, I don't know if your voice is matching up. Say something. Hello, hello. Yeah, it's got a delay. It's got a delay. You got something else on at the same time? I, I got I got a PC there and the are. telephone. Now you're good. All right, now talk to me. Look at me right here. Oh, there you look, go. Look, okay, okay. Well, look at the one that's down. Look at the one that's okay. down. That's the one I see you <laughs> Well, I need to look it up, and I can see okay, it I'm down. looking all over the place. I'm looking all over That's the place. right. Technology happening. Well, I need to hold on. Wait a minute. Okay. You was chosen, and then you you was called. You were chosen, oh. and, and you accept, and you chose it. I chose it. You I was one it. of them 12 that spent them two or three days pulling and pouring in those true scriptures the Beretta dies. Can you bear witness from Matthew to Revelation? That's Matati Yahuda Hazum. Is it been translated? And did you read it? Did you review it? I reviewed it. I sure did. Uh, from from. 
Oh, oh, I, and I, sorry. <laughs> All right. But dude, I, 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 I went through the whole thing. And yeah, from five o'clock, 12, sometimes seven o'clock, it, it depends. I, I didn't even realize it uh, until I start yawning and I'm going, I'm tired. <laughs> All right, so give everybody your witness. What did you notice? What happened to you? Because let's get ready to come out to the world. I was crying. I had such, I had so many mixed emotions. It I, at one time I was crying, other time I was like, I was humbled, totally humbled, because the word when I listening to it, it is it it hit my heart. I mean, it just was. I can't explain it. It I, I just felt it. I felt so many different emotions. I felt like sorry. I felt I was crying and I was happy. And I felt like I was there when I felt like I was being spoken to right there in the midst of Yahusha and the set apart ones. And he was talking to me. Mm. He was so talking the first, to me. So you've been reading the scriptures for years, but this is the I first time before, you had this. Before, for 65 years on the 14th, I've okay. been reading them. And I had never read the scriptures like I read it. It came to life. It came to life, and I was right in the middle of it. That's man, I, I feel it, dude. When I was translating, I, that's why, you know, I tell y'all sometimes, man, I'm just start breaking down crying, or I'd be I, laughing. You remember when he was sitting there, and them demons was like, uh, Yahushua we know, and Shaul we know. But we don't well, know who you are. And they jumped on that dude. I was crying laughing. I, I, I'm going, oh, my goodness. This is just like, I felt like I was there. I was watching it. I was watching it happen. Yeah, I like watched, it was on TV. I watched, the demons, I watched the demons run into the pigs and the pigs running down to the water. <laughs> I watched it. <laughs> so should everybody be supporting at tsnt.org so we can get One, to talk to the family? One hundred percent. I have people right now asking me when it when is it coming out? When are the when is it coming out? I said, don't worry, don't worry. I, I got your back. I got you. I got a copy for you. Don't worry. Wow. People, I'm telling you, you need to support because this is a true scripture, and this this is gonna blow the lid off of all those false scriptures that are they say that are true out there mm -hmm. this is i mean there there is no holding back i would i can't remember what i was reading about the the it said oh uh what was that in i think it was in timothy talking about uh men liking men and women liking it like oh i was born like that no you weren't no, you weren't. This makes that clear. Listen, I, I'm in the medical. I was in the medical field for 23 years. Y'all made orifices, certain orifices for some, some, you know, specific. Mm. Now, and, and and the way he, the way Jay presented it, he didn't hold back on anything. He told the truth. Yep. Yeah. And I was sitting there, and I, I, like I said, I was motion, I was happy, I was sad, I, I was humbled, and I'm going. He, th this stuff is real, people. You need, you need to support this because he, he didn't hold back on anything. He nope. told the 100 percent truth. Yeah, and we got a whole bunch of stuff cleared up, didn't we? We got brother, we got brother Paul cleared, cleared up, up, don't we? Brother Saul cleared up to the max, cleared up. <laughs> there is no. He Harmon, there's he, he he didn't hold back. That's all I can say. He didn't hold we, back. We love you, sis. You got any parting words for all these new people going? It's gonna be thousands of people watch this. Yeah, she won the club. That's what I got. We love you, sis. I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. I am humble and I am honored. I I am. Oh, you the best. And she's going to be coming to Saku. Watch oh, out, everybody. Yeah. I was just looking at my tickets today. Yes. All right. That's yes. awesome. Isn't that great, y'all? That's Sister Juanita in the building. Now I'm going to get y'all a couple more powerhouses in here. Been going to, hey, we've been working, ain't we, sisters? I can't hear y'all. How come I can't hear them? Can you hear me now? I got you now. Yeah, Let's get going. Can you hear me? 
Yes, but y'all yeah, got something playing in the background. Turn that off. Whatever it is. I don't have anything in the background. Can you hear me? Nothing. I got you now. Yeah. Hold on. I'm, I'm going to do something with Melody. Let's see. Yeah. Melody, that's yours. You got to get on another computer or phone. Melody has a, she has a, uh, she has an echo for some crazy reason. Sister Sherry, Hi. what's happening, man? We got the telephone going. You've been in the trenches. You've been one of the key volunteers to, because you've been rocking with me for so many years and you called on Yahoo. She's a true, true believer. Absolutely. And you had the privilege to get back there and screen and scrub. What's been your, what's been your experience with the true scriptures? What kind of witness can you give the nations about the true scriptures? They are the easiest scriptures to read. They're the most understandable scriptures to read. They do not contradict anything. Uh, it, there were times, you know, I, I'm in there to prove. When I prove, I'm really focused and, you know, really paying attention. And then I find myself at the edge of my seat like I was in a movie or, or reading a book and thinking, well, what happens next? Well, I knew what happened next, but I, I was so into it that I was just, right up in the screen like somebody else said and just reading and and taking it all in and and there was one night i i, I think i messaged you and i said yeah i yeah i'm i'm reading english the english version of what you've done and i know what it has done for me and and not that it was difficult but it a lot of hours that that were put into proofing um, the truth scriptures and and I'm just reading English and and you're tr transcribing from Amer Abari and, and Aramaic and what you have done in the time frame that you've done it in you have poured yourself out wholeheartedly to this project and I am extremely grateful like you here, here's what Sherry's talking Everybody. about. Melanie's going to chime on this too. See, here's the issue. Here's, here's the issue. It's right here. You see that right there? Right. All right. That's called Aramaic. That's Aramaic. Yeah. And that's from the Peshitta. See? So that's what I read. That's what Sherry's talking about. I read that and then I translate that into the appropriate translation. English. Right. And so, so, and what happens from there? When you got somebody that's that, when you have somebody that's immersed in the Yahuwah, is it a difference? Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, that like, I mean, you compare it, and I did. I mean, there were some that I compared, um, mainly for names to check to make sure that the names were correct, and and I make sure this is the name and this is how it should be, and so I was reading other translations for that purpose, and it would be like. Well, they don't even, well, that's just ridiculous what they've said over here versus the truth. It, it just doesn't, it doesn't, make any sense. doesn't jive, you know, it's like there, nothing made any sense. And, you know, when, when I read scriptures before from the pagan Bibles, it, none of it made sense. I mean, you'd scratch your head and read it 15 times and finally decide, well, I don't know what it's saying, so I'm just going to move on to the next one and see what see if I make any sense out of it. Ain't that, that, that the truth? It's there, nuts. There, now, now there, Sister there. Melanie in the building, are you back? Can Melanie. you hear me? Yes. We can hear you, sis. <laughs> yeah. I had to get on my phone. I think it's because I had the volume on my computer on instead of uh, trying to do the speaker. So, Hey, hey, hey Melanie. 40-year uh, educator. Mm -hmm. 40 years, got a got an international best-selling book on education. You've been one of the key reviewers for the past several weeks. Talk to the people about your experience and your professional opinion from a literary standpoint. How do you feel about these true scriptures? Well, I'm going to kind of like uh, mimic both Sherry and Juanita. It is it reads perfectly clear. You, there's no way you cannot understand. You cannot not understand what the scriptures really say. 
And I commend you because this has been something that you have poured your whole heart into. And it has, I have seen myself, Yahuwah working through you, Yahuwah working through Sherry. I have felt Yahuwah working through me. I have actually felt reading as I read and was trying to, you know, make sure that everything was, was correct. There were times that I just sat with tears in my eyes. There were times I got cold chills. It is. Mm. is. <laughs> yep. There's, what's it going, there's, what's this going to do to the world, uh, Melanie and Sherry? Mm. What's this going to do to the world in y'all's opinion? It's going to shake some people up. <laughs> Going to shake, rattle, and roll some people have, up. <laughs> you know, if they have eyes to see and ears to hear, they will absolutely be blown away by the truth. Well, to me, also is, you know, if you're going to listen to anything that's a translation from a translation from a translation, mm -hmm. from a translation, you know, I used to play this game with my little ones where I would put them in a circle with their chairs and I would whisper something into one child and they have to whisper into the next uh -huh. child. Whisper and down the lane, right? And when it got down to the last person, they repeated what the other person had said. And, you know, it could be something as, as simple as, I like your blue shoes. Yep. And it turned out to be, you know, something like <laughs> I bombed your house yesterday. Yeah, like something nuts, <laughs> right? And all it was is I like your blue shoes, and you just whispered in somebody's. And that's what's happened with these translations. We ate, hey, listen, six, almost 6,000 Greek, different Greek translations to try to come to one conclusion. So after 6,000 of those, it concluded with this bucket of trash. 6,000 different manuscripts, and it came down to this pagan thing to where they decided to remove Yahuwah's name, and they decided to introduce, and this is what Sherry and Melanie are saying. You can, because I'm sure y'all go back and forth and look at that and, and, like, you know, compare these verses. Yeah. And it's like the exact opposite. How many times would y'all see that happen, Sherry and Melanie? Oh, my gosh. Hours, Hundreds. Hours worth of seeing <laughs> Like you, like you would go. Hold on one second. Yeah, because you've been used to reading something your whole life, right? Yes. Exactly. Well, not my whole life, but half of my life. It has been my whole life. And there, but when we were doing the working on this pro, process, there were times at like two o'clock in the morning, I, I would text Sherry and say, "Are you awake?" <laughs> and Sherry would say, "Yes, I am." <laughs> I'm right here right now. Can you get this page 176 right now? I want to. I, I want to ask your opinion about something. <laughs> okay, now how's it? Me as me as the lead translator, and then you guys come in reviewing. Here, here's my question: How's it been working? Just be raw with everybody, because the people don't really know me. Y'all know me great. We know each other for years, 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 years. years. How is it working with me through this process? What What would you say to people? You're very easy very to work easy. with. Yeah. Very easy to work with. Because even when we would talk to you about something or text you about something or make a make a correction, you know, you would you just didn't just accept and reject stuff. You would tell yeah, at least I me, you would say, I I'm I don't agree with this because and you would explain yourself. And you know, it was that sort and even with me, with it with a certification in language arts, <laughs> you know, it's 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 a little different because a lot of times the old way of saying things makes sense one way but if you read it in english it it didn't sound right so right. we'd have to talk to you about that mm -hmm. that's you deep know? that's deep man it's coming to the world now so y'all bear witness it's been translated absolutely it is yes. <laughs> yes, it's been read at least five times <laughs> and, and y'all been involved with me doing book launches before oh yes and don't we always launch them 
Yes. Absolutely. Don't we know how to take them international bestseller too? Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> well, we got we know what we're doing on this on this book line stuff. So yeah. listen, man, this this is unbelievable. To have you two ladies, I told Lena the other night, I said, Lena, if I stop and think about Sherry and Melanie more, if I if I meditate on y'all more than 10 seconds, I'm gonna start crying. I, can't, I gotta <laughs> come over, go over, go over, go over here. I can't, you know, it's like right now I gotta stay focused, but I know there's gonna come a time when this, when all of a sudden we see it go out. And start getting mailed out. I'm probably gonna get over the corner and just <laughs> because y'all two are like the heart ass for real. Stop it. Why y'all why y'all love me like this? Why I love y'all like this? Why tell the world why we love each other like this? Because we know each other's heart. We know each other, we know each other's heart. We're at, we're in Yahoo. And yeah. I've known from the second I saw you that you were different. That, that you you never told me. I mean, I didn't know you were in Yahoo for probably two years <laughs> before I even knew, but I knew that you were different. I knew you were honorable. I knew you were real. I knew you were raw as could be. Like, no fake, no, you were just flat out, told it like it was, and it might hurt your feelings, but you're going to tell you exactly how it is. And you didn't do it to hurt feelings. You were just raw that way. Like, you're the most real person I've ever met, ever met. And and I knew it as soon as I saw you on a video. I was like, I got to know him. And my daddy just know. said, Sister Sherry and Sister Melanie, you ladies are awesome. <laughs> Thank you, Pops. I love you. <laughs> I, I would like everyone here to know a little story. Okay. Do you remember the first time we met? Oh, yeah. Don't tell nobody no years. We just, it's been a long time. I'm not going to tell anybody right. years. But we gave each other a hug, didn't even know each other. And I said, I'd like to introduce myself. I'm Melanie Summers. And you looked, you went back and you said, I know who you are. <laughs> that surprised you? Yeah, it did. <laughs> but from that second on, it's like, he's, He's seen what I can do. He recognizes what I can do. And I got his back. Yep. Right. Ditto. That's right. We love you. We, we ride or die. What are you going to say, Chef? I was going to say, working on this project, one thing I loved, like, loved about it, too, is you didn't discount anything we had to say. Yeah. I mean, we would have phone conversations, and you always listened yeah. to what we had to say. You may not. And I got to tell y'all, these two, they bring out points that get some, they make some stuff, some critical stuff that just a little word or two has to be adjusted that changes the big meaning. So y'all give some love to Sherry Melody because they've caught some key things where a, a word had to be put there to make that whole thing stay congruent, no contradictions to where a third grader can understand it. And at the same time, Yahoo gets properly introduced Absolutely. to the world. Absolutely. You, you're the world going to get to know the real Yahoo. Would y'all ladies agree? Yes. Absolutely. Yes. Yep. They will. Absolutely. 100%. And, there, and therein lies a big, big aha for anybody and everyone. Yahoo is real. And he mm -hmm. does not, he doesn't mince words. Nope. He lets his yes be yes and his no be no, but he's kind about it. Look how kind he has been to mankind to put up with all the nonsense that we do. Yeah. yeah. And still make salvation so easy for us. Yes. Yep. That's true. Well, I love you too. Any love parting you. words you two got? Get over to tsnt.org. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, put, yeah, put, your, put your racing shoes on and get over there. Get over there, TSNT. Let's go ahead and support. Y'all give a shout out. Sister Sherry, Sister Melanie, we love y'all. Isn't that cool to be able to have them? I just thought, man, that, that everybody would just really get a, 
a kick out of that uh, and, and, and being able to spend that time with them. Now I got another special guest. I've been doing mommy duty all day. I want to introduce my wife, Miss Lena Nolan. It's kind of blurry. Let me get blurry, 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 blurry. It's blurry, Lena. Can you hear me better? Can you hear me? Good. For some reason, it's blurry. For some reason, it's blurry. I think okay. that's what was Let going on with you earlier. You think, connect, come yeah. back in. Okay. Get on the right internet. Come back in. Lena's going to come in, fam. She's coming in to help me close this out. I got a new song I'm going to introduce to y'all. You know, that's big. I got a new song I'm introducing from PTT Music. But it's been a phenomenal day. You know? Are, but are y'all doing the assignment? How many? We got new. About a, I've been seeing new people get over to TSNT.org and just contribute. Just do something. Hey, shout out to Ella Mae Richardson. Just came in. $10. Daniel Bacote, another $104. Catherine Rose, $104. William Pola, another $40. Jerry Harris, $21. Look at this. This is great. Daniel Libby, another $21. Diana, Anisha. Gonca, what is it? Uh, Gonca, Calvis. Yeah, Santos. I think it might be one of our Latina sisters. $25.38. Jamie Galloway again, 10. Russ Bryant again. Coming in with 52. Yamani with 26. Shelby Edwards. New, brand new bronze pack, 300. Shelby Edwards. Shout out to Shelby. Christine Casey. Shout out, 26. 41. I see you. Brian Robertson, Eartha Robinson, $10, and then another $10. Cheryl Storch, $104. Patrice Pearson, $10.70. She did it twice. Henry Tech Grabber, one of our awesome ones. Henry, you going to get on here? Henry, click that link if you want to hop on. Henry, click that link in that chat if you want to jump on here real quick. Because I didn't know anybody else that happened to participate. If you had had a chance to come on, y'all just got to click the link. Because I, I, I can't. Can't remember all the names, but Henry, if you want to jump on real quick, come in. But Henry did a hundred, and he was one of the twelve. Javoris Allen did thirty-five. Ashley Elliott, right, did three. Dan Daniel Murray did ten. Look, isn't that awesome? Archella came in. Like, like people are understand the assignment. So the assignment is Yahoo wants his word spread everywhere. Takes money to do it. Got to have money to do it. And so we want to make sure that you guys. Take advantage of the blessing. Y'all be y'all be blown away. I don't know why your video's blurry today. It's never been like that. Still not working? But can you yeah, hear me good? I hear you good, but it's just your... All right, here it comes. Hold on. Now you're starting to come in. It's just a little blurry. Now it's kind of it's focusing. I think it was auto-focusing or something. Lena's in the building. So, Lena, you know, you've been doing mommy duty all day today, and you've been watching this in the background. Can you give us your take, the project, any update, anything you want to add? And we'd love to be able to hear from you. It's been mommy duty, but it's been uh, the true scriptures duty, um, talking to the printers, typesetters, getting the uh, complete format, like a better, better visual for the typesetter of what we want. So I had to, uh, with the team, design the, like the actual design that we want inside of the scripture so how the introduction is going to look what type of uh, fonts the sizes of every font where we want the bold letters um how it's going to look the first page which page is going to be first if we're going to have an empty page so all these little details because we're very 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 close to it we already have our isbn numbers for all the options that we're going to have in the scripture. So I've been talking to different printers because we're going to have different options, uh, you know, because this is going to be so precious. You're going to want to have one that you can, you know, kind of like deal with it uh, fast, take it here and there, and you're going to have another Kind of like I have a, have a travel true scriptures? Yeah, it's like you have a travel true scripture that you can probably write on it and everything. And you have the one that is that your hardcover, Obviously, for those that have the membership packs, you're going to have your own um, completely different to the other ones. And you're going to have that special stamp. It's going to be manually stamped. The stamps already, uh, it was they was delivered uh, last week uh, to the printers. So we have everything set. And did, did, they give, really did they give us an example of how it would look? Yes. 
All right, that's awesome. We, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah, we have that. We have that. Uh, colors for the ribbons. We have everything. Every, all the details. We've been working with with printer. Really good um, relationship that we have with them. So very excited. Very excited about the whole day. I'm so proud of of you, uh, baby, because I have saw you taking care of the whole teleton, your energy, your passion, all the commitment that you have had from the first day that you decided to do this project, that it was not just this past November. You decided to start this for over two years ago and see you every morning just waking up. And like you told everybody, you know, when we was doing the fishing trip and you was waking up every morning very early because you wanted also to, you know, take daddy to the, to, to fishing. So it was, it, it, it was, it's been a long journey seeing you. And I want you to know that I'm very proud of you, that um, I'm honored to walk with you in this life and, and being able to learn about Yahuwah because of you. So like every one of you in this, in this uh, video watching right now, you, found about promote the truth and probably found the name of Yahuwah because of promote the truth. I I also found Yahuwah's name because my brother Jane Olin. So I really want to say thank you because I I wouldn't be safe. I will be going into the lake of fire if it wasn't for you. So I know you have saved a lot of souls and one of those is your wife's soul. Well, you know, gotta be faithful. You know, we just, you know, we do. That's one thing about it. You know, Yahuwah will put people in your life who can help expand. And Lena's helped expand this, you know, as a helpmate for, since 2012. I found Yahuwah in 2007. Lena and I got married in 2012. Right? So she, she's yep. been rocking with Yahuwah all these years. So she's she's got that eldership understanding of Yahuwah. So let me ask you another question about, about the importance of the project. So TSNT.org, why would a person want to contribute? Why would they want to be involved in this? Like, like do, they, do they have to? I will say you have to because, <laughs> because there is not another translation out there that is going to tell you the truth. Like every translation out there has some... Uh, manipulation or not sometimes not uh on purpose but they decided to use translations that are based on the greek and when you don't have the true word you don't have true salvation so i will say you have to like for yourself not because promote the truth is telling you you have to go on and, and contribute but because when you, if you believe, if you're here, is because at least you have some kind of belief that there's a return of the of the Savior, and there's a Creator, and you have some fear of Him. So if you're watching this and you're feeling that, then you need to have the true word. And I was, as our sister Cherry and Melina was saying, when I was reading the scriptures, like you know, I was raised Catholic but they don't push me into reading the bible so i never have that sense of even reading it and when i even tried to read it it was so confusing so it was discouraging just to go into it then when i learned about yahuwah i found that there was uh some translations that at least have the true name i thought they have the real names at least have yahuwah name correct but i started reading it and I couldn't understand it either. Like the word, like, come on, we are not right now in 2024, right? And we don't talk the way it's in those, in those books. So my first language is not English. I'm trying to read the English and I'm like, this don't make no sense. Okay, so that's right. So when they put it into Spanish, did they try to kind of keep that same is not even good to Spanish. Okay, so I don't think the world understands this. Okay, so you got it, they translated that not from the Hebrew and from the Aramaic, they translated the Spanish, from what I understand, from the English. From the English, correct. And the words are super hard to understand, 
sometimes it looks like if they just stick it in Google translator or someone that maybe barely knew Spanish did the translation, but I have found a lot. Can you hear me there? I hear you. Um, but I, I was like, oh, the, the, right here, it should be this. Like, I'm like, that's basic Spanish. And even like that, I'm like, I don't understand. So like Sister Cherry was saying. Yeah, I see Brother really Bill. By the way, Brother Bill, I see you. We're going to bring you in just a second. Hang tight. So I read that book. I read, I read one chapter, right? And I finished the chapter and I was like, what, what I was talking about? So I go back and read it again. And I'm like, <laughs> no, what it was? So like she says, I'm like, I just decide to keep moving, but don't understand actually what is what it trying to teach me. So why will our creator will leave books with instructions from people that he chose and they decided to choose him and they was following his instructions. Why will he leave a book that we cannot understand? Fact. It Fact. just don't make no sense. And just reading, like I haven't had the time to go through the whole thing, but the books that I have been able to read, I'm like, is that there's a flow. Like if those oh. are letters, if those are letters that Shaul, Matati Yahu, and they all wrote. The, it was not in codes. It was like, like if I'm writing a, a letter to somebody, I'm I'm telling a story. So why, when I finish that letter, it's like it was all chopped up. Yep. The reason it's yeah. chopped up is because it's Greeked up and they figured out a way to confuse it so they could introduce yeah. paganism, so they could introduce all of their uh, control systems so that they can dominate the people. And their so pagan Lena, real, and, and so, so real quick, so y'all gotta understand this. And I'm gonna bring Brother Bill in. Y'all gotta understand this. The Spanish and pretty much the German, the French, you name it, all the other languages, they didn't go get the Hebrew, the original Hebrew or the original Aramaic. They didn't do that. Shout out to brother. Hey, I see you, brother William, sister Sarah. I see y'all. Thank you. They didn't do that. Almost all of them got the English. So you got these translations around the world that are greeked up to the max, and it's, comp it's just confusion after confusion. Now watch what's going to happen. We got the true scriptures translation. And then we got people that call on the name of Yahuwah that are Spanish speakers that have been me and Lena's translators for multi-million dollar projects before. And, uh, and, and as soon as we sign off on this translation, tell them what's going to happen, Lena. Uh, we're immediately going to send those, bo those books for, for them to translate them. And I have bet them, like for... I pretty much train them. And if people, like, I don't want like to brag about anything or talk nothing about, I know like everybody have in their own con languages, you know, their, their way of talking, but Colombia Spanish have been in the top ranks of being a, um, like a plain Spanish. Yeah, for understandable. All the, the most Spanish. understandable is, is Colombian Spanish. We found doing business Correct. all over the world for Spanish speakers. That way, everybody, like if they're in Mexico, if they're in Argentina, no matter the dialect, they can understand the Spanish, the, the Spanish uh, from a Colombian person. So um, it's, it's, it's very important that because you want to have also a language that is not like slang language. You know, you want to have a plain language that everybody can understand. And that's a lot of times the issue when things get translated. Like for example, the the Spanish, like the let's call it like the Bible, the pagan one out there, it was translated straight from the Latin, but the Latin came from the Greek. <laughs> so we all jacked up. No matter so what crazy. we did, y'all gotta understand this. This is gonna get trans. It's the, yeah, so all of y'all, I'm gonna bring Brother Bill, and he'll tell you. Now watch this, later. Watch this, Brother Bill's in the building. Hallelujah, Yahuwah. <laughs> <laughs> Brother Bill, you are like you're lit up. What happened to you? What tell everybody what's happened? Brother, it, it was um it was like communing with Yahuwah, 
Mashiach, our Alua, for three days. Fam, this is the word. This is the word of Alua. Those who are wondering, this is the word of Alua. It is the Ruah of Yahuwah Mashiach. I have no doubt, no doubt. And there is a famine. There is a famine in the land yes. for the word of our Alua. Yes. And this word is going to go forth. It is going to go forth. And the knowledge of the esteem of Yahuwah Mashiach, our Alua, is going to cover this earth as the waters cover the sea. Brother, you know I'm speaking the truth. Yes. It's from his spirit. And, and I love Yahuwah. And I am so, so thankful and grateful that, that I had the opportunity to be a part of this. Wow. And I honor you both and love you, yes. love you. I love the family. Those who are in doubt, believe me, this is true. Yes. This is true. And these are the truth scriptures. Oh my goodness, man. Wow. Lena, that hit you. I mean, that just hit me right yes. there. Thank you, Bill. But, like your words are so warming to 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 my spirit. And I can see the joy and being able to, you know, bring this to the world. Like if this is, is doing it to you, when we are able to take it to all the corners of the world, that's what Yahuwah wants us to do. And that's why it's so important. Like when you was asking me, why it's so important this project? Because the same feeling you're having, Yahuwah want all his children to have it. That's why he allowed these books to be wrote for us to hear him. And finally, we're going to have it here. So what, so what, what range of emotion, what, what you go? So you were reading. So you're, this is one of the 12, by the way, Brother Bill, up in Canada, Edmonton, correct? Yes. All right. So you're ready? reading it. And what happened well, with you? What experience? What did you experience? Everything. Uh, like the fear, the fear, the fear of Yahuwah, Mashiach, or Alua. I mean, just complete awe. Yeah. Complete awe. This is the set apart word. Facts. And it is it is from his ruah. It is pure. It is true. It is sharp. It is very, very sharp, like a two-edged sword it is real sharp and it separates it separates and i'm all in brother i'm all in and i am one of the 144 i am all in and all right last, last thing i'm gonna ask you this is this is great i know people y'all put some fire emojis in the chat for brother bill put some fire emojis. put bill with some fire emojis in the chat fire them up man let's look i mean y'all oh. can feel ruha all over him that see i didn't know who y'all who was calling many a call a few choosing and Bill watched the process. Yahuwah moved on me. I threw it out there. You said, I'm taking it. And Bill was quiet, too. Nobody heard. Now, the staff just forwarded me over Bill's email. He said, this is Bill's input. He went and wrote it down. Bill was, you was quiet. You was absorbed. You must have went. How many hours did you spend a day in there, Bill? I'm not, I'm not clear on the hours, but I was so immersed. And, like, I tried to read with my eyes only, I couldn't do it. So I was, I was reading the scriptures out loud. Wow. And, and uh, uh, the only way I can describe it is communing. Yes. Yahua, Yahua Mashiach, or Alua. It was like being with him for three <laughs> days and let me tell you i i was trying to be diligent going through you know uh 
Mata Yau, and then to Marku, and just working diligently this way. But you know, there came a time where I had to go to the back, and I did. <laughs> and so I read all of Azun. Well, you know, when I was reading Azun out loud, my wife. You know, and she knew she knew the drill. She knew that I I cannot be disturbed. Okay. I must do this. I am devoted to this. I must do it diligently. But when she came into the kitchen, she just stopped and she was listening. And she couldn't stop listening to the word from Hazun. It was so powerful. Yes. Clear and that doing. Was the experience. That was the experience all throughout the truth scriptures. Yeah. You know, and and I look forward to the day that I have the liberty to take this to the streets. Yeah. Like I spend time on the streets now, but I don't have the truth scriptures in their fullness yet. But I will. <laughs> and when I'm out there, I am going to proclaim the Bashura, the good <laughs> news. Hello, hello. Of Oh, our only Alua. Our only Alua. People, that this this yes. this translation makes it clear we only got one savior. Is that true, Bill? That's true. And brother, what I've, you know, although I don't have the true scriptures yet, I know when I have them that the very same thing when I proclaim his name on the street and people stop. Yeah. They stop and they know that what I'm sharing is true. Yes, they do. They know it's true. Well, yeah. when they hear all his word, yes, they will know that came from the Ruah. They don't know it. Of Yahua. They don't know it. Mashiach. Hey, hey, now what's Lord. another thing, Bill? Because you got some you got some season on you about. Being in the Word, how many years you've been trying to get to the truth? How many years? For me, uh, like yourself, it was a long journey from '82 to present time. And yeah, I was Greeked up, and my my father was trying to get my attention even in the, in the early '80s, and I mm -hmm. kept overriding it with mm -hmm. the lies that wow. were coming from the pulpit he was showing me things even back then and i would override them i would override them his ruah is always truth and will always lead to the truth always and these are the truth scriptures <laughs> Very good. these are right the truth it. Scriptures. <laughs> hey, let me let me ask you this question, Bill. I got this is the last one I'm gonna ask you. Now, a lot okay. of ladies are doing this. Yeah. What did we take? Did we take care of our brother Shaul, Paul? Did we get him cleaned up? Absolutely, and out? absolutely. And one one thing that became very clear: everything flows. Everything flows. No confusion, because you know what. Yahuwah Mashiach, yeah. he is light. Yes. And there is no darkness. No. Nope. There is no darkness. He is truth. Absolute truth. <laughs> and you know what? Anyone who has these in their possession, these truth scriptures, yeah. will realize that immediately. Immediately. And, and it will cause them to turn to Yahuwah. Yeah, uh, hey, hey, the Our first Ua. time this, now this is what Melanie told me, and maybe you can bear witness because I saw you wanted me to possibly go in Hazuna today. Did you understand? Hardly anybody can understand Revelation. Will they understand it now, Brother Bill? Absolutely, absolutely. And you know what? Today, today was perfect, perfect. Absolutely perfect. It you know, bless my heart. Brother Bill, y'all give a shout out for Brother Bill. He's coming here. Black Lady, got any party words for Brother Bill? I have to tell you that you brought the most joy of my day today. Like, thank you so much. You bring so much happiness and inspiration. And, you know, just seeing that smile, that passion, that energy yeah. you brought today, it put a big smile on my face. So 
Thank you. Thank you for Oh, love you all. Love the family. We love y'all. Y'all see our brother Bill's in the building, man. So look at here. You tell me the Yahoo don't know what he's doing. Look at all the different ones, yeah. Lena. I've had come on here. Because Lena, you know, she didn't know who I was being pitched. She's doing her thing and what she got with the department. And Yahoo was working through me. And he's going, all right, pick these. And all of a sudden, you've been hearing them all talk. What you've been thinking about listening to all the stories of the people that got the review, the true scriptures that are done? It's, it's like that mix of emotions. And I'm so happy. I'm so blessed. Just being able to have this first batch of people to... You know, normally, let, let's see, you know, I went to the university and I did marketing too. So I did business administration and I did marketing. And for marketing, before you launch a product, you do like a test with a bunch of people. And a lot of times you have, you know, some people like it, some other people don't like it. You have people that come back to you and say this should be different and everything. But being able to see every one of them come with the same spirit, with the same joy, with the same message with the same like we are in a, we, we are in the same in, a, in we're in unity we all are agreeing into that is flowed is easy to read and is the word of Jehovah. so if one if two or more agree in something that's the truth and and that's what is happening right here so it's been a lot of a lot of happiness going through 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 the day today watching all this and and being able to to watch what you have, what you have done, baby, is is amazing. Like I, I've known this for many years, and I see you talking to people about Yahua. But now, finally, with this book in the hands of others, and them just not reading one chapter or just one book, but reading the complete collection, is is amazing. There's no words for that. So I'm, I'm it's just a, uh, it's just this joy that I can't even explain. And I know Yahuwah is very proud of your work, baby. And I tell you what, I'm just, I, and this is a fact. He said, you know, he said, I, he said he wants us to be obedient. I accept his call and I get joy out of being obedient to him. Like I do, like I get a kid. Me and Yahuwah will be talking. Lena be saying, sometimes Lena walk in the room, don't you? I walk in the restroom and he's talking to a mirror and he's like having a full conversation. Me and Yahoo will be talking this thing out. I'll be saying, Father, and like, I hear in my spirit, do this, this, and this. Father, look, I got this scripture here. I'm reading this in the air. See, I'll look at I'll, I'll go, Father, I'm reading that. I see that word. Now that word can go two different directions here. Through the rule, I give me the right direction on that word, so I get it. And then not only he don't ever just give me that. The crazy part is, he turned around. And he tells me that word is this and it's connected to that verse. How many times you see me do that, Lynn? A lot. A lot of times. And a lot of times during this process, you have come to me and said, babe, like, kind of like you, you talk it out with me. And, 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 and it feels like this sense of Yahuwah yeah, is, is, is putting us in an agreement. Like, oh yeah, is that. And, and you all, and then you start explaining me, and you just it's like it's like it's actual Jehua talking through you because I'm like, how he knows that? Like, there's things that you connect us so fast, or you put things together so fast, or you read those 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 um, original scriptures, and you're like, oh yeah, this it says this. It's not it's not that word. Like they changed this. Look at here, and you explain me, and I'm like. It makes so much sense. And I went and grabbed my Spanish book and grabbed the other ones that, that How many times did you go, I go, Lena, go read this chapter, this verse, and this, and come back and tell me what you think. Many times during this during this process. And then Lena will walk back in the room, she go. I'm pissed. <laughs> <laughs> I come back to the room, I'm like, I cannot believe these people did this. Right. And then I go, look, here it is. And I pull it out. I go get the Aramaic or the Hebrew, and I go, here you go. That's what that says. And then I go, does, does it agree? Because this is the verse that Yahuwah gives me two. That's what he's doing when he does it with me. He hardly ever just gives me that word. He gives me the verse to be the two witnesses. So he makes it, he makes it confirm. 
by tying to another verse. Y'all see me do it here on the on all these lives all the time. I'll say it, I go, now that's tied to that verse over here. Yeah. But I love this, man. Everybody, do us a favor. Do yourself a favor. Be yeah. obedient to Yahuwah. He is calling you. You ain't got to guess. He's using people to bring his word to the world. And he's going to roll with those who are obedient to his call. TSNT.org is attached specifically to the call of Yahuwah. Yeah. It's the greatest project. It's the greatest well, everything since Yahushua came and left and resurrected. There's nothing more powerful and that we can be doing than getting this true word out to the world. For our house, see what's for us in our house, you can get your whole house saved with this. Yes. And and your yes. family, like that, that's the way to start. Just grab one of the bad translations and put this one next next to it and start teaching, like teach your kids. You you get the proof now. Like what we did online, like all this. Um, uh, trainings that Brother Jay have done where he compared one, one verse with the other one, with the true scriptures, with all these other translations, you're going to be able to do it. And in order to do this, like we need your support. So get into TSNT.org. We're going to be able to spread. So what I'm doing also is getting this, um, this scripture. So having different, let's call it like categories. So we have the regular paper bag. We have the uh, hardcover, we have the soft leather, leather, and then we're going to be able to give a lot of those away of the paperback to spread the word of Yahuwah, but we need you in order to do that. Like you, We, got, we, got, we, we want to start out to, to give away to strategic places. Lena and I have already done the the pre-order of 500. Is that, what it, is that what we agreed on? Yes. So we're going to strategically give away 500 copies of the true scriptures to start, to start, yeah. right? Yeah. So when you contribute, you're part of that 500 immediately that is going to go out. We want to get that to where that's 20,000 that we and we get them into these impoverished nations. Imagine what's going to happen. Yeah. Can you imagine when we get these in impoverished nations, people go, hey, everybody, can, yeah, we're going to make sure everybody get a copy. Yeah. Yeah, they, they, they deserve it, you know? Like, we always talk about that the, the most least, those are those are in need. We There's a lot of lost sheep all over the world, and we just need to reach to them. But when you go to a printing house, when you go to a printing company, that's not, that's not free, guys. That's not free. Like, if you go to a, if you go to a library and you're going to go and get, you don't go out of a library, uh, like a, you know, like a uh, Burns and Noble or something like that. You don't go out of there. You go to a bookstore, 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 yeah, bookstore. Yeah, yeah, it's a bookstore. You don't go with a book for free in, in anywhere. Like the, the Bible Society is a humongous business. Yeah. Yeah. That they're, they're not giving it for free. Nope. So, you know, this this has a cost and that that's what we're doing. We, you know, we have to get this print out and also it's shipping. We need to send this to the whole world. And we're working on that. We're working also on the app to have a digital because it's going to reach even farther the word of Yahuwah. That's the true, the true word of Yahuwah that we will be able to spread it with the calendar and all that that we all need to have in order to follow correctly because you all have seen the questions in the chat. Every single day in the chat, you have seen new people asking for the right Shabbat, asking for the right um, new moon days, asking for what to do and not, not to do during this uh, feast, and all these little questions that everything can be answered with the true word and the right tools. And that in order to have everything out for everybody, we need to pull together that. That's that's it. TSNT.org is what is going to bring Yahuwah's work to the world. Yeah, just imagine when we use the power of these QR codes <clears throat> that we're going to put inside. The ones that we're going to give out for free, we're putting QR codes in there. On that QR code, what I hear the Spirit saying is, when we go into these different nations, we'll be able to explain to them the story of the true scriptures and versus what they've been used to. 
So they'll click on the QR code and it'll come up and say, what's your language? And then they all of a sudden they click on their language and then we have a translation in their language of explaining how the Greek is jacked up. And, and so we educate the world through technology utilizing the power of the dollars. That's what we're going to do. So I'm, a, I'm you got anything else you want to share? I'm going to share a little song, a little song here that uh, one of our latest releases coming out. Anything else you I got? Thank you, brother Ed. Thank you, Edwin. I, have, I want to say thank you to everyone. I saw Daddy here, so I'm so proud of you, Daddy, uh, for the journey that you have come through Yahuwah, like your dad. Yeah, dad, my dad went a long way, boy. But see, I had it. That's why you can't be afraid with your family. <clears throat> I literally pulled my dad <clears throat> about two years ago. Yep. I pulled him in the backyard and I had tears in my eyes and told him, I don't want to be in eternity without him. I want to have my fishing buddy in eternity. The one that's had me up under his arm since I can, since I was a little bitty thing, taking me hunting and fishing. I said, we're supposed to be together in eternity. I said, but dad, if you don't repent and call on the name of Yahuwah, you're not going to be with me. I know too much about this. And I said, you know who I am. You know the time I put in. I'm telling you. And something about that conversation, I think it hit my dad. It yeah. did. And you know, and you know. Now, how many y'all ready for a new song release? Go ahead, son. I'm sorry, man. <clears throat> I said that. And Kai has been on him for <laughs> mm -hmm. and he was able to speak. <laughs> Kai's relentless. His grandson yeah. is relentless. On yeah, all his grandparents. He don't pull no God don't pull no punches on no grandparents. He said, Y'all going in the lake of fire, y'all don't get this right. And they yeah, look at it when they go say little Huh? That's how it's encouraging for the kids. Like just teach your kids. No one is gonna say nothing to the kids. So if your son or your daughter is going speaking to whoever, that person's gonna be okay, but then like a kid is telling me that it's it's is very like it is impactful because for example today we have uh, the daughter of one of our friends that are Jehoan that is in the hospital and this little girl she's 12 years old and she needed to get some medicine and before she was going to be poked with the medicine uh she told the nurse can we pray before i get my medicine and she's very shy so she normally don't speak like that and the nurse said yes absolutely and she started praying in Yahuwah's name and then when they finished the prayer, the nurse said, what is Yahuwah? And, and the little girl said, that's the true name of the creator. It's not G-O-D. And so what the nurse is going to say, after that, she took the dad outside and asked, what is that? <laughs> so, so just, you these know. kids, y'all get these kids to tell people. They'll say it. Nobody going to mess with them. Yeah, I love it. Y'all yeah. ready to hear a new song? They ready to get it? All right, turn your speakers up. Turn your speakers up. Turn up your speakers. What am I going to play for y'all? Let's see what I'm going to play for them, Lena. This is a new one that's going to come out. We're getting really close now. Uh, this is called Reach Out. This is called Reach Out. Turn up your speakers. Hey, drop some music emojis in the chat. Let's see if y'all ready to finish strong. Put some music emojis in the chat. Put them in the chat. We want some music emojis in the chat. We're going to wind this thing up big time. Everybody get the TSNT dot or Lena put some in the chat so we can ready to go. This is called Reach Out. You ready? Set. Here goes a sample. Let's get it. If I call out to you, can you reach out and save my soul? I'm reaching out to you, restore my heart and make it whole. No amount of money can buy my love I call out to you when push comes to shove If I, I call out to you, can you reach out and save my soul? I need your loving, they give me nothing I feel avoided, abandoned, forsaken If yeah. I could feel your love, that'd be enough I don't need too much, I lost all touch with reality If I call 
call out to you Cause you reach out and save my soul I'm preaching out to you Restore my heart and make it whole No amount of money can buy my love I call out to you when push comes to shove If I call out to you Can you reach out and save my soul Hey, if I reach out to you can you come and save my soul? Look at my baby boy just showed up in the building. Song is you running to you. Who's the most high, Kai? Okay? Yahuwah. Yeah, did we call on him? Yes, sir. All right. I, hey, you gotta hey, you gotta let everybody know. Let me ask you a question, Kai. Okay? Who is Yahusha? Yahusha Yahuwah. You got any doubt about that? No. Now, what if people reject Yahuwah? What do you think is going to happen to them? Um, then they will go to the lake of fire. Pretty simple, huh? Yes. Now, what do you think your job is on this earth for Yahuwah? What do you think your job is? To show people the truth and help Yahuwah on doing things like saving people that don't believe Yahuwah and they're going to go in the lake of fire. And I'm my what Yahuwah wants me to do is show people all the things of Yahuwah for that there could be more people than 144. Oh, I love that. Yeah, it's gonna be more 144. We love hey Kai, should we play another song for him? One we played before, yeah. but not the telethon. Should we give him another one, Kai? Yeah. All right, let's give him one more. Here we go. We're gonna play somebody, one of the favorites. Everybody love this one. We're gonna do somebody. Listen, get ready. This is an emotional song right here. This is emotional. Y'all ready? One. Two, three, let's get somebody! Well, all these paths I've led to broken promises I know that you are hurting You're hurting, yeah But don't give up Cause I know that somebody Who can look out for your heart Your heart If you get down on both knees And you Don't you need somebody to forgive all your mistakes? Don't you need somebody to forgive all your mistakes? Yes. That's what Yahuwah will do. He'll forgive all your mistakes. We need somebody like that. Who's like Yahuwah? He's the most high. Thank all of y'all for doing what you gotta do, what y'all been doing today. Everybody, listen, we go strong all the way till the sun comes up tomorrow. When we do telethons, we take it through the night, and everybody go in your heart. Because we got a lot of work to do. Now, we had to get through this telethon day. Man, tomorrow is, is prime time. Getting geared up. We're doing the next scrub with the higher level scrubs. Then we're getting ready for the print for the typesetter. So we got a lot going on. Love, love this family. Thank you to my wife, my son, for joining us today. This is great. And, and we're going to take it to the next level. Any parting words, Lena? Let's get this done. We are just... So we're so close. It's just the final details for this to hit the whole world. So we have to stick together. We have a lot to do. 
Badges are going out. Remember, you have until the end of the month to uh, qualify for your package. And we have very, very, very few spots for the Zakut. So make sure you um, do the right, you, you check your email if you're gold. You check your email. If you haven't found your email, you need to send an email to info at promotethetruth.com because it's, it's, it's very few. I can count them just with one hand. So make sure you get uh, that said because it's going to be amazing being, a, being able to be around a campfire with our true scriptures in the hand with some vegan marshmallows. It's going to be beautiful. So thank you all. I'm very excited about this project that is going to be out out and then we're gonna start with the tonight so yeah we're gonna go crazy in that too man Woo. hey Thank listen you. on all major people asking about the music it will be available on every major music platform everyone spotify apple itunes you name it it's gonna be available on all we got global distribution being set up for the music again it's going all oh, this is what tsnt is about then it's going to be tsntot.org. So we're going from tsnt.org to tsntot.org is getting ready to come up. Because we're going to be doing the continually smashing with the New Testament, the Dash. But wait till we all start to see all these things coming out. And, and, and y'all not going to ever see another pure version of the Tanakh coming to. It's one that you can understand because a lot of people in there can't understand the Tanakh either. The language, how they wrote it, how they translated it over. To me, it's like people trying to be so uh, authentic that they didn't understand what the, what the purpose of a translation is. So I'm going to be authentic and be cute and be all fancy with my words, but then nobody can understand it. That way, they, you can keep having preachers get paid. Pastors in these they, use, they use it as an excuse that they're being fancy to keep misleading us. Yeah, that's what they want to do. We, we tearing it down. So I love y'all. We appreciate y'all. Everybody put Terry down in the chat and we out of here. Let's take it to the next level. I'll see y'all soon. We're going back to work. In the name of who, Lena? Yahweh! Only promote the truth.